And we are here to do the Epcot Resort Bar Crawl. Something uh, new, fun. But the Walt Disney World couple are with us. Hello! <laughs> this is gonna be another epic night. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> so let's go do this. First stop, the Bellevue Lounge. Right here in the boardwalk. Very fancy, very classy, and I really enjoy the radio stations in here. Let's see what they got. The cool thing about the Bellevue is it's kind of like a living room. Very, very awesome. And if you take a listen to these old timey radio stations over here, or these radios, they actually have announcements and cool music. Radio listeners were mildly startled by the introduction of one of the most unconventional married couples in microphone history. I use the word unconventional advisedly. <laughs> Drinks have arrived at the Bellevue, and I got this Bellevue sidecar, orange juice, and fireball whiskey, and it is something else. I Corona. La Cerveza Maspina. Thank you. And then Josh and Taylor, Angry Orchard, and the oh. Belleville cocktail. Oh, the Belleville Cosmo. It's Cosmo. Oh. It's a cocktail, though. Oh, what was that face? You don't like the Corona, do you? I do, it's so good. I think I caught a bitter beer face on you. <laughs> it's really good. I did. Or for that matter, you and your wife, the unconventional couple I'm referring to, of course, is the Bickersons. The Bickersons? Okay, so we're done with the Bellevue. We sat there for a little bit. I think we were there for like an hour, actually, just talking and hanging out. So, Ow. we are done with the Bellevue. Yip just hit her elbow. Ew. Ooh. Yeah. Now we're gonna move on. The drinks were pretty amazing, it was fun. We sat there for like an hour, just hanging out talking. But, on to the next one. I hurt my elbow. Oh. Oh yes. And I'm guessing the Abracadabra bar is next. Ba -dum -bum -bum, the Magician's Lounge. How'd you like that little jingle? Very cool theming inside here. Stage door? Missing magicians. Ooh. Hello. Ace? And they have like these, they have like these little bit like secret. Drinks have arrived and I got a parlor trick. Ooh. Pretty fancy. Yeah. I can't tell you what's in it, but I believe it's bourbon. Very and she has vanished. Warm. And cheers. Cheers to the Abby Cadabby bar. <laughs> <laughs> and oh yes, yeah, spicy drinks, delicious drinks, classy drinks, and bourbon and soda water. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I really had a force to drink this, actually. It didn't go down easy. Mine went Taylor, down yeah, you, yeah, you really got like that good. Punch. Wow. But this uh, warm feeling drink here, <laughs> <laughs> I can see sensation. a warm sensation. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's more than a feeling. It's a warm oh, sensation. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a good drink. It's a good drink. We're done with the Abracadabra bar. Josh and I are coming out to the boardwalk. Taylor and Veronica had to use the restroom. And I think we're gonna avoid the rain. 
I think so. I don't know. We might hit us tonight. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh joy. Let's go to Joe's. It puts the lime in the watermelon, Margarita. <laughs> so Veronica stole one of Josh's mac and cheese bites while he walked away. He'll never know until this video comes out. If I can get it down because it's hot as shit. Hurry up, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> and we got ourselves a watermelon margarita. I, mean, oh, I don't sure. think Yip likes the watermelon margarita I too don't. much. I think it tastes like poo, -poo. Really? Mm -hmm. Taylor got the strawberry. I like how they put the green sugar. Except that it drips down the side a little. It, ears oh, oh, is it? But nothing goes better with these than this view. That's amazing, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna get up from uh, Marvelous Joe's Margaritas, which I drank all of the margarita because Yip doesn't even like watermelon. Why would she order that? I thought we were gonna split it. Oh yeah, but you didn't drink it. it. So we ended up drinking it all. <sighs> Where are we going next? Sugar. Thank you. Where? <laughs> <laughs> we're walking from the boardwalk all the way over to the beach club. Beach is blue. Just beach learned that. Blue. Just learned that from Taylor. And look at this kid come down this hill with the stroller. <laughs> you go, you go. Like a twenty-six. So we are here, and I'm thinking we're gonna end up drinking somewhere in here, <laughs> if that's helpful. We have arrived at the beach club, and that is a crane. <laughs> and people could be on that to get to their rooms and that's just like a fancier way to get up there oh, and I think we're gonna go this way to Martha's Chihuahua. Vineyard yeah. oh yes it smells nice in here it does smell like the contemporary look at this oh, that's the curtains I've been looking for you could totally okay. hide behind those and scare people as they're walking by okay So I'm not sure how many stops we made it to. I think this is our third, this is our fourth stop, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh my Lord. But Martha's Vineyard, here we are. This place seems like a very cool place to hang out and watch the game. Or Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, I completely disagree. That tastes oh, like a yeah. Christmas tree in a cup. Bit. Merry Christmas. left the beach club Here as you now. can tell between the separator there heading to the yacht club going to the gym first what, what? one mile no hail the compass right Ship shape i think we would be unsafe no. No. Yes. Not, safe. not safe and we have arrived the cruise cup 
Ooh, well, look at this fancy place. Yes. Bud Light, never mind. You're going Bud Light, aren't you? You don't know me. We all know you. So we are leaving, forget where we were actually at, but we are leaving here and moving on. It all came back to me now. We left the crew cup and Cruise now cup. we are heading to the Ale and Compass. Huh. Oh yes. Look at this floor. Oh yeah. And for some reason that looks like an Ikea couch. It does actually. And this is the inside of the Hail and Compass. Yeah, we were kind of off the special game. Well, hello there. So, like I said, we made it to the Yacht Club, and this is the main lobby. Here comes Josh. And this is the Hail and Compass. And we're actually going to take the first seat available inside the Hail and Compass. Look at that. You got it. Josh, why so much hate? I don't know why they think I wave like that. No, like this you they say. Do You've never done that. The this is like high fives. Like, oh, yes. He gave high fives. Ear high fives. Like yeah, like bam. <laughs> so I noticed one thing about the Yacht Club. It's got this very special like sea smell. And I love it. Wow. Even their wet floor signs are pretty fancy here. Look at that, gold plated. <laughs> so unlike all of the other bars we stopped to, the Inland Compass actually has so signature cocktails. And that is awesome. I think I'm gonna go with the how dare you. How dare you? You cannot take a sip. Why? I went with the how dare you. How dare you? How dare you? How dare the peachy you? Peachy perp? Bro, why do they give you these tiny straws? Alright, I'm gonna try. Oh my god, that's like amazing actually. What is it? It's a how dare you. It's amazing, yeah. It's like a mint. The first drink he's actually liked. Yeah. Wow. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know how to pronounce half the words. How dare you? I know. I'm just gonna go with that. Bud Light and baked beans. <laughs> baked beans and Bud Light. Five foot two, my eyes are blue, and all that's most my friend could do. Has anybody seen my girl? Turn up nose, turn down hose, never had no other boat. Has anybody seen my girl? Now if you run into the five foot two, covered with fur. That's your life, it isn't her. Could she love? Could she woo? Could she, could she, could she coo? Has anybody seen my girl? Great Gat Gatsby's. You're leaving the Ellen Compass. And Veronica and Taylor are taking us. Kind of on an adventure. I don't even know what's happening right now. Come on, turn the camera on. I want to go to the gazebo. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. I feel like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> hurry, hurry. It's a real snail. So I, apparently we found a real snail. It's real. Inside the gazebo at the yacht club. That's big. It's a big snail inside the gazebo at the yacht club. Hey, there's a snail. Look at that. You see him? I see him.
We are making our way from the Ale and Compass and the Yacht Club and hopefully to end up maybe by the Swan and Dolphin. Oh, definitely to the Swan and Dolphin. We gotta see the party tree. And then to the Atlantic Dance Party. Hall. Woot woot. Dance hall. We're going hall. dancing. We're going Go dancing. Club. Line dancing. We don't leave till the club closed. <laughs> Before we head to the Swan and Dolphin to check out the pretty lights because that's amazing. Look at the boardwalk at night. It's amazing how quick it gets dark out here in Florida. And Taylor is on the ground. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I like it. We've made it to the Swan and Dolphin. This is one of my favorite fountains here, actually, in Disney World. I just love it. Bum, 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 bum. just happens to be 90s night with $3 drafts at the Atlantic Dance Party. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, I see smoke in <laughs> Oh, this is, this is poppin'. Oh, I wanna dance. <laughs> I wanna dance. Oh, 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 oh. So this is like full on dance party here. It's, it's pretty amazing. at this view oh you can see the top of spaceship earth over there like I said the second floor is primarily closed off uh, but uh, somehow we ended up being able to come up here and just see the beautiful view and looking down at the dance club and it's actually amazing it's pretty amazing Everyone's getting low. 
Wait, can we get low with you? Yeah! We're getting low! We're getting low! We're done tonight. That was really fun. We party pretty hard. Party so, hard. love the life you live. Live the life you love. Here we go. And we'll see you next time. Olé, olé, olé. They're here for us. <laughs> oh no. Don't go willingly. Don't go willingly. Are you sure?